Now we're switching gears to the Israel-Hamas war. Israel now ramping up its retaliatory attacks on Gaza City, where a growing number of Palestinians are trying to get to safety. The U.S. working with officials in Egypt and Israel to open up a border crossing from Gaza into Egypt to help foreign nationals get out. But Egypt is also insisting that humanitarian aid needs to be let in. ABC has an update from Jerusalem. Eight trucks and ambulances are now stationed at Egypt's border with Gaza, waiting for the Rafah crossing to open. Many people are also gathering on the Gaza side, hoping to be among the passport holders allowed out of the war zone to safety, including Zakaria al Araisha from Michigan, who was visiting family in Gaza City when Hamas launched its deadly terror attack. I can't sleep, a lot of bomb, no water, no food, no nothing, no, no life here, no life. Despite pleas from Secretary of State Antony Blinken to Egypt's president, Egypt still refusing to open the border unless Israel allows food, water and fuel to flow back into Gaza. ABC obtaining audio reports from Doctors Without Borders staff inside Gaza. I mean, today we uh, were for two hours searching for drinkable water, no electricity. I mean, we don't know what will be tomorrow and where we are going. A senior State Department official saying Egypt has informed the U.S. that there are acute security threats near the crossing, which currently prevent U.S. officials and others from aiding Americans inside Gaza. It comes as Israel prepares for a potential ground invasion into Gaza, amassing some 360,000 reservists. An Israeli lieutenant colonel telling our Matt Gutman some of their forces are already inside Gaza. So there are specialized Israeli units probing into the area in Gaza pretty much as we speak. We have uh, special forces and regular infantry, uh, artillery, tanks, uh, armored divisions and, and battalions that are operating in that area. Israeli airstrikes continuing. Israel Defense Forces saying they've killed the head of Hamas's general intelligence. More than 2,700 Palestinians have been killed during the Israeli retaliation, nearly 10,000 wounded. In Israel, more than 1,400 killed by Hamas, including 30 Americans. President Biden is considering a visit to Israel, but a senior U.S. official tells ABC News any trip would only be to soften the hardliners inside the Netanyahu government who are blocking food and water from entering Gaza. In Ezdelikotera, ABC News, Jerusalem.